Hey folks, this is Kalani. Going to be looking at the last fight in the first tier of the Queen's Gauntlet. Now, this is Serial the Blazing Light. And I'll go ahead and activate that. I want to talk about some of her abilities before we get into it. So she'll have an invulnerability shield. So she won't be able to take damage until you remove this shield. The way you do that is by dragging her over swirls of black patches which appear on the floor. Now she also has a devastating AoE attack called Solar Flare. If you get hit by this, you're gonna go down. So getting hit by this is pretty much game over unless she's like two rock throws away from death. I say rock throws, that's if you're a warrior. But basically if you're not near to killing her and you get hit by Solar Flare, game over. So how do we protect ourselves? Actually, the same black patches which remove her shield, if you stand inside them, you'll be protected from the solar flare. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this a go. I've swapped around a few abilities. I've got Lightning Flash to help me get towards the Black Swirls, and I've got Signet of Earth to immobilize to make sure half of my damage actually lands. So, let's go ahead and queue up. Now bear in mind she will start with the shield, so popping everything at the start is not the best idea. So There we go. And the back black swirl. Now, one thing worth noting is that she will start casting her solar flare very early on. So make sure you get towards the second black swirl very quickly. She also seems to do quite a lot of damage, so bear that in mind. While her shield's not up, she is completely vulnerable to all types of CC. Now, in case you haven't noticed it just yet, the telltale, or basically the cast animation for her solar flare, is her channeling from the book. If you've seen a Guardian channel from that book before, you know what it looks like. And that's it. Remember to take a bit of sustain in there with you. You do take quite a bit of damage, especially if you're incapable of reflecting or deflecting any of her missile attacks. Remember to keep inside the black for when she's casting the solar flare. You don't need to be in there for the rest of the time. As long as you're inside it for when she casts, you'll survive. You can use things like invulnerability. For example, the first time I did this, I kind of dodged out of one of them with mist form. So that kind of thing does work. You can, however, not block it. So don't be a fool like me and run in thinking Arcane Shield is going to protect you. Apparently it doesn't. Go figure. But that's it for the first tier of the Queen's Gauntlet. Stay tuned for tier 2 and more importantly tier 3 when we get there. Thanks for watching folks. Good luck and have fun. And as always, I will see you next time.